guys and welcome to my channel thank you so much for popping on over and having a look at this video and um, if you haven't already if you want to hit that subscribe button it would be absolutely fantastic uh, i am trying to grow my youtube channel and i would love to have you in my little youtube family um, if you want to click the notification bell as well it'll just let you know whenever i upload a new video um, and if you like this video smash the thumbs up button right but let's get on with the video Right, so as you've seen by the title, I popped rapeseed oil in my hair overnight. Um, and basically, I was in my local supermarket, I was in Tesco's, um, and I generally find myself walking down the oil aisle recently, looking for oils, not for food, for my hair. <laughs> um, and this is the one that caught my eye. So it's Mr. Hughes, um, Extra Virgin rapeseed oil and um, as I find with basically any other oil the best ones to go for is extra virgin just so you know there's nothing else in there but the good stuff <laughs> um yeah right so some information about rapeseed oil it is apparently very very good for dry hair it is high in vitamin e and omega-3 fatty acids the unsaturated fatty acids in rapeseed oil possess moisturising properties, which seem to coat the hairs better than other oils, apparently. It gives the hair shine, making it more soft and pliable. And it helps towards water loss in the hair, which helps towards split ends and breakage. Right, so I have some footage of me last night popping this oil in my hair. So let's cut straight over to that. Right, so the earrings are coming out. That means business. <laughs> no, um, right, yeah, the earrings are coming out. I'm just under my hair. That is the oil in question. Um, I'm just opening it up. Um, I've recently sorted out my filming room and I found some hair dye boxes. I don't dye my hair anymore, um, so I opened them up and took the applicator bottles out of them and I thought they're going to come in very useful, and they certainly have. So as you just saw, I've just poured some oil into the bottle and I'm just sectioning my hair off there. Just taking the top off the end there. And yeah, so using the applicator bottle, I'm applying the oil directly to my root and I'm using the tips of my fingers um on my scalp just moving them in a circular motion so it's like a mini head massage at the same time uh yeah just working that into my scalp as many of you know um scalp massages or anything like that is really good for hair growth it stimulates the scalp so sounds good to me so yeah, as i say i have just got my hair in sections every time i'm ready i take down a section and add more oil on um, the oil is a very yellowy colour, like a yellowy orange, uh, really, really nice colour. The oil hasn't really got a scent to it. It smells, I don't know, hmm, like a little tiny bit sour. It's not a horrible smell by any means. Um, it's very faint, so it doesn't matter in any way. Um, but yeah, I'm just making sure I've got plenty of oil in there. I want to make sure every inch of my scalp is covered with the good stuff. Well, fingers crossed, it's good stuff. <laughs> so yeah, just working it in there. Once I have done my entire scalp, I will slowly but surely, there I am there, putting some in the palm of my hands to work it down my hair shaft. So from root to tip, making sure it's not completely saturated, but making sure that everything is covered. Um, so yeah, there I am now. And then at the end of it, yeah, I'm just giving myself a nice little head massage, brushing it in there. I've separated that brush from everything else. I've got a little drawer, which I use for my oil things. Um, yeah, and I'm just plaiting my hair. I'm going to put a bobble in it. Keep it all in one. And then I've got some um, cellophane there, uh, just some good old cling film. I'm just wrapping my head up, my hair, in that. Now, haven't I done a lovely job there? I look gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I 
Right, and here comes the dreaded sleeping bonnet. Oh dear me. I literally, I've only bought this for when I do oils in my hair, just to, I don't know, an extra preventative. Um, right, so that was me going to bed. This is me waking up, taking off the cellophane and the sleeping bonnet. And look at the state of that. Oh my God. Good no makeup on. Hide your children. I don't want to scare them. But yeah, just massaging my scalp again. A uh, little mini head massage. Yeah, my hair's com completely saturated still. So yeah, I'm just going to hop in the shower. I am back from the shower, like magic, with no face on. Oh, and there you go, face is on. <laughs> right, so I am just taking the towel out of my hair. Um, and I'm just showing you there, it, my fingers ran through my hair. Eff eff I can't say that word, effortlessly. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I'm just drying my hair with my Panasonic hair dryer. I've done a video on this hair dryer. Um, I reviewed it. I'll link the video down in the description. I will also link the product in Amazon as well. It's a, it's quite a good little hair dryer. So yeah, I'm just making sure I'm brushing my hair as I go. You can see there, look at the volume in my hair and it's not even completely dry, it's crazy. So I'm just sectioning off my hair here because it's still damp in places. So I'm just sectioning it off and drying it, just with my fingers, making sure it gets dry everywhere. Right, so now the last bit, just going through that. Oh, look, you can see I'm trying to grow my hair. I'm trying to grow my greys out. Um, I got some highlights months and months and months ago. Um, I mm, think it looks okay-ish. Right, I'm sectioning my hair off and I'm now using my Timo Ring um, straightener. Um, again, I'll link the video down below. I did a review video on it. Very interested indeed. Go check it out. I'll also do a product link uh, down in the description bar in case you want to go and check it out for yourself. Um, uh, yeah, straightening all of my hair, making it look all pretty, or hopefully in any way. <laughs> right, so this is the finished result, basically. Um, one, I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, as I've said with the other oils, my hair feels absolutely freaking amazing so so good it feels soft and silky and smooth um the ends are looking good um the shine on my hair amazing absolutely amazing don't know if you can get that good there I'm trying to can you see that shine on there but um it is absolutely grey and dull and, well, it's heavily raining outside at the moment. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love my hair. Love it, love it, love it. It feels really hydrated and moisturised and conditioned. It feels like I've had a really expensive treatment put on my hair and I haven't. <laughs> I've literally just whacked some of this bad boy all over my hair and it's turned out amazing. Yes, I am not disappointed in the least. Apparently, it's supposed to help with hair growth, which is all good. Um, and again, I am going to be doing videos. Um, there's many, many more to come. I am going to be trying loads of different oils in my hair. If you have any ideas of what oils that I could put in my hair or have any recommendations, anything at all, um, if you want to comment down in the comment section and let me know, it doesn't have to be oil either. If you have some sort of ingredient that's not going to trash my hair that I can leave in my hair overnight, um, yeah, comment down below and let me know. I will put it on my ever growing list of stuff that I want to whack in my hair. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I certainly have. And I think my hair has as well. Yeah. So if you have not already, smash that thumbs up button uh, and click on that subscribe button as well. Come and join the YouTube family and I will see you in the next one.